Hello dear learners. Today I am going to start a new chapter of class 10 advanced mathematics that is chapter number 3 arithmetic of integers. So in this chapter first of all we will discuss how to solve the problems with the method of mathematical induction. Mathematical, what is mathematical induction? First of all, see suppose if SN is an statement for natural number n, then if SN statement is true for the value of n equal to 1, then it will be true for n equal to k, where k is some natural number. When this statement will be true for n equal to k, then this statement must be true for n equal to k plus 1. Why? Because when a, when a natural number we assume 2, then the next natural number we get 3. That means 2 plus 1, 3. So when the statement will be true for n equal to k for some natural number k then the next natural number is what k plus 1 so that statement must be true for n equal to k plus 1 so that means the given statement is true for all the values of natural number that process is called mathematical induction we will start by and sum then your concept will be clear let's see we'll start the exercise 3.1 of your book exercise 3.1 so first of all see so in exercise 3.1 we have proved by the method of mathematical induction one number question is given one number question is given 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus dot dot up to twice n minus 1 is equal to n square that means sum of n natural number is n square here twice n minus 1 is the common term of this series so this type of sum you will solve by mathematical induction you will solve the all sums as i am doing in this way so all sums can be done in the same way as i am going to solve it so first of all first of all we will take this statement as pn or sn or fn whatever you wish let will take the statement as pn since the series is in natural number n pn is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus up to twice n minus 1 equal to n square where n belongs to n that means n is natural number so we have taken the statement as pn 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus up to twice n minus 1 is equal to n square so first of all in mathematical induction process method first of all we will check the given statement for the value of 1 for the value of n equal to 1 so first of all for n equal to 1 we will see are the left hand side and right hand side are equal or not so left for n equal to 1 we have left hand side left hand side this common term for n equal 1 means what n equal 1 means the first term or you can put here the value of n left hand side is twice n minus 1 twice n minus 1 that means 2 into 1 minus 1 so result will be 1 right hand side is right hand side is n square n square means what 1 square the 1 square means also 1 
that means the given statement is true for the value 1 so if it is true for n equal to 1 then it will be true for n equal to 2 also n equal to 3 also so in that way we will assume that the given statement is true for n equal to k also therefore we can write pn is true pn is true for n equal to 1 when the pn is true for n equal to 1 then we will assume some natural number k such that for n equal to k this statement is true we will assume it as n equal for the value of n equal to 1 it is true then it will be equal, uh, true for any natural number so we have to prove that one now see let us assume let us assume that assume that p n that means the given statement is true is true for n equal to k k means some natural number k belongs to n that means the leg we have assumed that the given statement is true for n is equal to k so pk will be what therefore pk is so in place of n we have to put k 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus up to here twice n minus 1 is given we have taken n is equal to k so here 2k minus 1 and here n square means k square as we have taken n means k suppose this is equation number 1 so now this is the main step of the sum last step when we will assume the given statement is true for n is equal to k n is, is equal to k then it must be equal to for the next value of k the next value of k means what k plus 1 so we have to prove that the given statement is also true for the value n is, is equal to k plus 1 now we have to prove that we have to prove that prove that pn is also true also true for n equal to k plus 1 so this is the final and main step of this sum so when n will be equal to k plus 1 then that is we have to prove this one n is equal to k plus 1 p k plus 1 p k plus 1 means 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus up to here see here students make mistakes first of all we will write similar up to this term 1 to twice k minus 1 twice k minus 1 since plus is there and in this in this case we had k terms up to k terms so we have written up to twice k minus 1 but in this case we are going to prove k plus 1 terms k plus 1 term means what one more term will come up to k term means the up to this since k plus 1 means what k plus 1 that means one more term is coming so for that we have to give 1 plus up to this will be same and for next term k plus 1 we have to put the value in place of k we have to put k plus 1 so here up to this it will remain same so twice k minus 1 so twice next term will be twice in place of k we have to put k plus 1 and minus 1 and here k was there so in place of k we have to put k plus 1 and whole square is there whole square 
now see here we can write 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus up to twice k minus 1 and here if we break it if we break the bracket twice k plus 2 minus 1 it will be twice k plus 1 and here k plus 1 now we have to prove that this left hand side is equal to k plus 1 whole square so next see next we will take left hand side of this equation now left hand side we have left hand side 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus up to twice k minus 1 and plus twice k plus 1 this left hand side now see from this value 1 to twice k minus 1 1 to twice k minus 1 this value up to this 1 to twice k minus 1 we have the value k square so we can put here k square and this term is additional term we will put here twice k plus 1 <coughs> 1 to twice k minus 1 is k square from 1 we can write from 1 equation 1 and twice k plus 1 is additional term so we have to put twice k plus 1 so k square plus twice k plus 1 means what we can write k square plus 2 into k into 1 plus 1 square that means k square plus twice k plus 1 means k plus 1 whole square k plus 1 whole square k plus 1 whole square so this is nothing but the right hand side we need to prove right hand side so this is the proof and it is finished so what we have proved this type of sum first of all we will prove for n equal 1 we will find that left hand side and right hand side will be equal next we will assume that the given statement is also true for n equal to k where k is belongs to n so when we will take k we will put the value of n as k replace n as by k next our final statement is that we have to prove that pn is true that means the given statement is true for n equal to k plus 1 so when n equal to k plus 1 so k plus 1 plus 3 plus up to k terms this is up to k terms and for k plus 1 terms one more term will come and in that case the k will be replaced by k plus 1 in this step most of the students make mistakes so very careful in writing this step so now we, after taking left hand side 1 to twice k minus 1 means 1 to twice k minus 1 means k square k square and twice k plus 1 remains same twice k plus 1 so k square plus twice k plus 1 we can write k square plus twice k into 1 plus 1 square so k square plus twice k into 1 that means a square plus 2 a b plus b square means a plus b whole square that means k plus 1 whole square this is right hand side so we have seen that p n is true for p n is true for k plus 1 also so we can say therefore pn is true true for n equal to k plus 1 therefore by mathematical induction by mathematical induction mathematical induction pn is true true for all n belongs to n n belongs to n that is pn is true for 1 pn is true for k where k is some natural number and pn is true for k plus 1 where k plus 1 is some natural number so in this way we can prove this type of sum in all the cases you will follow the same step and your result will be 
come so you will try another one yourself thank you